This? This I can work with. Hello and welcome to everything about Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Ace Attorney somehow takes place in an unjust future where court cases are only allowed to take three days maximum and the defense doesn't just have to prove the defendant didn't commit the crime, but they have to find the actual criminal too or the defendant will go to jail anyway. The game starts us off seconds after a murder takes place. The pink jacketed weirdo, or Frank saw it, and yes, all the characters have funny names like this. Frank has just killed Cindy Stone, who I guess dropped like a stone. Her head has been bashed in via a thinker clock. Now we, the player, are the titular Phoenix Wright, a defense attorney who 90% of the time has no idea what the fuck he's talking about. He forgets Cindy's name, basically. On trial is actually his old-time best friend, Larry Butts, who made the statue. Remember this blonde head fuckboy and his art project, both are important. We also meet Screamy Rat Prosecutor. Tits are Tracy, or Mia Faye, Phoenix's mentor, do not get attached. And the judge, who also, 90% of the time, has no idea what the fuck he's talking about. Anyway, Larry is a statistical anomaly and has not killed his girlfriend. So our job is to snatch Frank's wig, literally, and save our childhood best friend. On to case two. Mia is dead. I told you all not to get attached. Here we meet Maya, the younger sister of Mia. If you're missing titties, don't worry, we have some in the form of the witness, April May. Oh shit, it's the sound of the police and the sound of my heart beating because that detective is very tall. Anyway, he arrests Maya on suspicion of murder. My god, that man is tall, but he is bad at his job. Turns out Maya is an acolyte or a spirit medium and all the fey ladies are strong psychics. She ignores our offer of help to defend her in court and she asks for someone else entirely to represent her. Marvin Grossberg. He likes his oil painting, clearing his throat and not taking the case, so of course we have to do it. All that accidental investigating seems to have paid off. We continue to investigate. April May's eyes turn into marbles. There's a nameless bellboy. You have rights, my man. And we keep hearing the name Red White. It's courtroom time and here's my second husband. Miles Eggsworth. Anyway, we use our evidence to disprove April May, get off the stand with your weird marble eyeballs, and we get the bellboy on the stand, and he let it slip that there were two people in the room. Maybe it's that red-white guy we keep hearing about. We finally meet him, and this Austin Powers looking ass owns a huge corporation and his office is full of naked men. What a familiar painting! Instead of just pleading the fifth, he wilds out and tells us he has most of the law in his payroll, and he punches us. He says he'll testify against us tomorrow in court. He'll say that he saw us pop Mia. So we briefly go to jail, but then we grab Meyer and head to court. It seems we have some sort of past with Edgeworth. I don't know, we have no time for exposition though. Every time you think you're making headway in this case, there's an excuse, and all hope seems lost till Mia pazuzus it and possesses Maya, but in, like, a friendly way. With her help, we finally prove Red White's guilt and expose him. Expose him! Expose him! Doesn't seem like Maya has anything better to do, so she'll stick around. Thank you for letting my last two brain cells disintegrate into this fandom. I planned to do the whole first game, but DL6 really said like seven pages, so I hope you enjoyed this far into the game. Thank you.